This is a cough assist machine. Our cough assist machine, can you help me listen? Our cough assist machine has two settings, manual and automatic. Right now we have it on manual, but we can also put it over to automatic. These three knobs over here are only used when you have the machine set on automatic and it helps you uh, to determine how many seconds inhalation or taking air in will be, how many seconds exhalation or exhaling or uh, having air exit will be, and what the length of the pause will be between inhalation and exhalation. The middle knob is used if you have the machine in a manual setting. The two knobs over here, inhale pressure and pressure, help set uh, how much the how negative or positive the pressure will go. You can see a dial in the middle and this dial has a, a blue half and a yellow half. The blue half is positive pressure, wait one moment, and the yellow half is negative pressure. And then there's an additional button on the bottom that sets the flow rate and we like the flow rate to be a little bit uh, slower so that it doesn't feel like it's all coming in at once. The machine has a filter which needs to be changed uh, depending on how uh, much secretions a person has and whether you're using it in the positive pressure mode or for cough assistance um, more frequently. Uh, you can tell by looking at the kind of uh, white part of the filter to determine whether it's becoming more yellowish and needs to be changed. This is what the filter valve looks like. The filter valve uh, gets placed in and then you have tubing and uh, the tubing uh, can be disconnected as I just showed you and can be washed together with the mask uh, at least once a week. The mask uh, can be inflated with air with it using a syringe, which will make the mask fit better and will cause less pain when it is applied to the person's face. So we're going to show you how we use the cough assist first in the positive pressure mode for daily exercise and then we'll demonstrate how we use the cough assist for uh, when uh, and if uh, she needs it because she has a cough. So Maya, can you go ahead and turn on the machine for us? Great. Now it took Maya probably a good uh, four months to get used to using the cough assist. And in the first couple of weeks, we uh, played with the cough assist where everyone in the family had to actually use the cough assist. And we did that for quite a while until Maya became acclimated. We now use the cough assist in the seated position um, because we find that that is actually easier uh, in terms of uh, comfort for Maya, but it can also be applied in the reclined position. We have a, a pillow behind so that Maya can sit comfortably, and uh, we are now going to show you how we use this machine. The first thing we always do is we check what the pressure setting is because we are using it only in the positive pressure mode and we place the mask on top of the machine and I will go to inhale and that allows me to check that we are in fact inhaling to a pressure of 35 centimeters of water. If I wanted to adjust this, I would adjust these two knobs and that for example would decrease the inhalational pressure. So we like to go to 35 centimeters of water pressure because that gives us very good chest rise and Maya feels very comfortable with that pressure. But that pressure needs to be uh, individualized uh, per each individual. To place a good mask seal, I cradle the mask in my one hand and I position it so that it is fully covering Maya's lower uh, chin and goes up over her nose. And then I apply a good firm seal with uh, bracing her head against my uh, abdominal wall, apply a good seal, and now I'm going to inhale for four seconds and release. And then I'm going to do it again. Please watch the chest rise, and you can see how this is actually helping Maya stretch her chest wall cavity. So we do up to five. If you hear a, a noise that sounds loud, that is uh, the air escaping if I don't have a good seal. 
Great. Now we're going to demonstrate how you can use the machine if Maya were sick or had a lot of secretions um, and um, needs to cough something up. So in order to do this, we are going to need to check our exhale pressure. And that should be down to about minus 40, uh, minus 35 as well. So uh, I'm going to just adjust the lower pressure there so that we're about minus 35. The um, way that one generates a cough is one has to first generate inhalational pressure, switch to exhalational pressure, and then pause. Again, this can be set automatically. As you can see, the machine is now doing it, and we can increase our inhale pressure time and exhale pressure time and keep our pause right about there. And that will allow the machine to actually deliver the cough assist maneuver with you just applying pressure to the uh, child or infant's face. Um, we like to be a little bit more in control, and so we use the manual. Um, the key is here that this is a quick maneuver. So Maya, we're going to do the negative pressure too, okay? Alrighty, here we go. Again, a good seal against my wall here, and we go positive, negative, and take it off. Now, in some patients, they can be assisted with an abdominal thrust timed with the exhalation, and that will actually generate more of a cough. Um, and so uh, that is a maneuver where one can uh, put one's hands on the abdomen and thrust upwards as the exhalation is occurring, uh, and that will help generate a cough. I'm going to demonstrate the cough assist maneuver one more time. A good seal again, and positive negative, and then a thrust up at the same time as the negative, or the exhalation. Thank you. You can also use this connected to a trach in order to generate a cough and to uh, help bring up secretions that are deep in the airway. Mike, can you turn off your own machine? Thank you. Bye-bye.